This section deals with the configuration of a Samba as a PDC. PDC stands for Primary Domain Controller and uh, Samba PDC is used for centralized authentication and uh, domain control of Windows operating system. That means if we create a, for example user1 and user2 in the Linux system by configuring the Samba as a PDC we will be able to log in from a Windows system as that user. So uh, consider the scenario which is explained here. So I am using an RHL5 machine uh, to configure as a Samba PDC. Uh, the domain name should be Red Hat. The IP address is uh, 0 0.19, and these are the users sh uh, should uh, should be that should be able to log in from the domain. Then uh, I am using the client system as uh, Windows XP, having IP address 0 0.9, and the machine name is Life. And here I am having a DNS server 192.168.0.254 and it is uh, using as the gateway also so this is the information two more information I will give uh, my gateway gateway is uh, 192.168.0.254 and uh, DNS server is uh, 192.168.0.24. So this is the scenario which uh, which I am working on. Okay. So first install the package Samba. Yum. Yum install Samba. So the it is installing. So it is installing. Yeah, installation is uh, completed. Then make it permanently on by using check config smp on command. I'll remove that configuration file. What do you do? One thing edit that configuration file vim slash etc samba smb dot conf so this is the file so this is the file now so you can see that open the configuration file etc samba dot conf and provide the entries in the configuration file as like this since I have already uh, make it I'm just copying that information to that file so this should be the entries in the configuration file so this should be the entries in the configuration file see it is uh, having a global session it is having a home session it is having a net logon session it is having a profiles etc and the uh, uh, description related with each entry is given below so save this entry then uh, service SMP or restart then create a directory minus m one triple seven slash home profiles yeah it is already existing then create another directory minus M one triple seven with permission one triple seven then home net logon so create two directories one with pro, uh, name profile and another with net logon under the slash home directory so it is al already existing then add a group 
with group I 2000 sorry 200 with the uh, name as with the uh, name as machine so this is the group name then the next thing is attaching the client machine to the uh, Samba PDC so for that uh, we had to add a user with the uh, home directory slash live slash null and uh, it should be in a group uh, machine and it should having a shell slash has been slash no login and uh, the name username should be life it should end with a dollar to indicate that it is the machine name it is not the username of the client okay then promote that user as a samba user life yeah it's promoted then uh, promote the root user as the samba user it is asking for the password then promote then create two users user add user 1 user add user 2 promote that user to samba user samba password space hyphen a space user 1 I am using the password as 1 2 then 1 so for two users that is user 1 and user 2 I am providing the password as 1 that is numerical 1 then reset the service so our Samba PDC is ready now now go to the client system here I am having a Windows XP system which is having an IP address of uh, 0.9 listening to the DNS server 192.160.0.254 that we can check out by using so you go to network places right click take uh, properties then uh, select this TZYP you can see that it is having the following IP address and uh, gateway information and uh, DNS server information okay then the next thing is uh, joining as uh, that user to the domain join to the domain for that click on right click on this uh, computer icon take properties you can see a computer name here so in this uh, computer name click on this change then here you have to provide the domain name as uh, red hat r e d h a t capital red hat then click ok so it is asking for the username first provide the administrator name that is root space the password of the that uh, root user samba So it is uh, trying to uh, join with the domain. Yes. Yeah, now it's ready. So we have to provide the root user name and uh, the Samba password of that root user. Okay. So reset this computer. So reset this computer and uh, try to log in as uh, user1 and user2, uh, which is uh, the users in the Linux system. Yeah, it is just uh, booting. Now the system is ready. Press R and delete and click on this option. Then uh, take the domain name as Red Hat. 
then in the username you have to provide user1 and the password as the samba password1 ok so you can see that it is logging so in this uh, my computer you can see that a user one on samba here you can see a try here so by creating the documents on this drive means that will get saved in the linux machine for example i am creating a file a folder which uh, name ipsr okay you can see that i am moving to the server system see in the server system in the computer i can on this file system under the home directory you can see a user1 directory here which is created by default so in this user1 directory you can see that folder IP here. so if you are configuring this uh, Linux system as a Samba PDC we can uh, make the authentication a centralized authentication we can make a centralized authentication so that's about uh, Samba PDC